So students, in this video, we are going to solve this problem from quadratic equations. The question is, sum of ages of two friends is 20 years. Okay, so there are two friends. If we add the ages of two friends, it is 20 years. Okay, like for example now, if one, one friend is let us say 8 years. This is first friend and this is second friend. I am writing the ages. If first friend's age is 1 is 8 years, second friend age will be 20 minus 8, 12. Because 8 and 12 will give us 20, right? We should subtract 8 from 20 to get 12, right? Suppose if the first friend's age is 5, second friend's age will be 20 minus this 5, which will give us 15, right? So if we take the first friend's age as x, the second friend age will be 20 minus x, okay? We can write it like this. Or we can write the first friend's age as x, second friend second friend's age as y and add that and write it as 20 and y will be equal to 20 minus x so send x this side it will become minus x okay i hope you understood this so let first friend's age be x years okay second friend's age will be 20 minus x okay what is given after that four years ago product of their ages was 48 four years ago see this is the present age of first friend okay four years ago he will be four years younger that means minus four right so this is four years ago age x minus four and he will also be four years younger right so a 20 minus x minus 4 so 20 minus 4 is 16 so 16 minus x so this will be the age of the second friend it is given that four years ago the product product of what this and this was 48 okay so x minus 4 multiplied by 16 minus x is equal to 48 is this situation possible okay in the question what is given is the situation possible if so determine their present ages all right so this is 16 okay let us multiply x into 16 is 16 x and x into x is minus x square here 4 okay 16 4 is 64 so minus 64 minus into minus is plus 4 into x is 4x I am bringing this 48 or sending 48 on the other side, it will become minus 48. Okay. So 16 and 24 is equal to 20x plus 20x. So this is minus x square is also there. Minus x square, this one and this one is done. Minus 64 and minus 40. Minus 112 is equal to 0, right? Is it 112, 60 and 40, 100, 4 and 8, 12? Yes. Okay. So I am taking minus common. So this will become x square minus 20x plus 112 is equal to 0. Alright. Now he is asking us, is this situation possible? So we need to find the determinant first, discriminant first, sorry, b square minus 4ac, discriminant. Okay. b square minus 4ac is equal to 0. If this value is greater than 0, will have two different roots. So the situation is possible. If this value is equal to zero, even then the situation is possible. But if it is less than zero, this situation is not possible. Okay, the situation given is not possible. So let us find out. So if you compare this with ax square, I will rub this and if you compare this with ax square plus bx plus c is equal to zero, a is equal to one, b is equal to minus 20 and c is equal to one, one, two. So we need to find b square minus 4ac. So what is b square? This is minus 20 square minus 4 into a into 112. So this will give us 400 plus 400 minus 4 ones as 4. So this is 4, 4, 8. So this is minus 48. Okay. So we have b square minus 4ac less than 0. 
that means this equation will have imaginary roots and this situation is not possible all right so i hope you understood this problem see you in the next video